Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania and it was going to be a clash between two heavyweights in the Indian Super League. Two teams which have a record of you know dominating the oppositions and creating chances for fun. It was a clash between two joint top goal scorers in the history of the Indian Super League, Sunil Chetri and Bartok Beche in the form of Bengaluru FC and Hyderabad FC. This was going to be a clash which would ultimately define how the playoff standings are going to look like. And going into this match, Manolo Marquez and his team were, you know, upbeat. They were looking to make an advantage of a slip up in the other teams and make sure that they have a distant future in terms of getting into the playoff spots. Yes, they are the top scorers. They are the leading team in the ISL and they were coming up against a really well drilled Bengaluru FC who were having issues at the back towards the start of the season. But after an incredible unbeaten run, they look like they are the real team which can compete for the playoffs. And when you have a player like Sunil Chetri in your team, nothing is impossible. And this is once again proven in this match. And if I were to review this match, I would be really, you know, talking about two halves in the match where it was completely different. In the first half, Hyderabad FC started with much more higher intensity. The likes of Akash Mishra and Ashish Rai were bombing down the left and right hand side respectively and they were not giving space to any of the Bengaluru FC wingers, especially Prince Ibarra who was looking isolated on the right hand side and Clayton Silva was not getting the space and the time that he wants to dribble with the ball. It was all credit to the way Beng Hyderabad FC have set up their team and Manolo Marquez is a coach who identifies weaknesses in the opposition. And in the first half, I was seeing that Bengaluru FC were not able to maintain a defensive line. It was a very high line and it actually surprised a lot of West Block Blues fans. And it was really, really surprising to see how the likes of Alan De Costa and the midfielders are charging upwards. And even in the 16th minute when Hyderabad FC eventually opened the scoring, it was a very good shot by Siverio which flew into the top corner. Gurpreet Singh Sandhu has no chance and it was a kind of chaos in the D box. That is something which is unfortunate but sometimes you as a defender or as a goalkeeper need to be alert and make the others aware of the situation. Nobody deals with it and it is 1-0 to Hyderabad. With that, I was just expecting HFC to you know dominate the position and take that kind of ascendancy and stranglehold in the game which can be difficult for Bengaluru FC to you know make a comeback and even in the you know middle stages of the first half it was a really really dominant display in the middle of the park especially you know Sovic has been outstanding for Hyderabad FC and if you consider the midfield of Bengaluru they were looking quite isolated there was a huge gap in the midfield this is the first time that we were seeing Bengaluru FC quite different in terms of their lineup they had a change in the personnel as well which didn't help their system and it was, you know, very well exploited by Hyderabad FC. And they deservedly took the lead. It was a really well worked out set piece, which eventually fell to the captain of Hyderabad FC and he slotted it in the back of the net with a very well taken curl shot from 25 yards. It was 2 nil, and going into the break, Hyderabad FC were looking to cement their place at the top of the Hero ISL. It was a game which really was nerve wracking in the second half. Because Bengaluru FC bombed forward, they were trying to create chances. Roshan was quite flamboyant on the left hand side. His dribbles and his intensity has you know, galvanized the entire BFC squad. And that is something which we have seen time and time again that whenever he gets the ball, he likes to charge forward and he creates space for the wingers to cut into the inside channel of the attacking third. And that is something how Bengaluru FC have tried to create chances. Most of their build up play comes from the left hand side when Roshan is on the ball. And Clayton Silva is one such player. If you give him time and space, he will punish you. However, that didn't happen in this match. He was quite unlucky in a couple of occasions to have scuffed his shot. And, you know, barring a few good saves by Hyderabad FC's goalkeeper, Katimani, it was a very good display by their defense. And I have to say that Wanan and Chingil Sana have been, you know, a very steady partnership for Manolo Marquez. And even in the dying moments of the second half, 
i saw that how they were you know working for each other they were complimenting each other and that is the kind of understanding that any champion team has on the pitch and that's why they were two nil up up until the 87th minute when the man of the moment sunil chetri comes up with a goal and it was a record 50th goal in his isl career which makes him the top goal scorer by anyone in the hero isl in eight editions that is you know kudos to him because he has been a standout player for bfc every season and once again he has delivered on the big stage by this goal he took over barth ogbeche by just one goal however you know respect compliments respect and that is why we say that he is the captain leader and legend not only of bfc but the indian national team he leads from the front and he sets an example for others to follow and with that it was 2-1 to you know hyderabad fc still they were very crucial 6 minutes of play in stoppage time however they were very well negotiated and thwarted out by hyderabad fc which finally gave them all three points on the context of the game the grand scheme of things this was a very big three points which has moved them to 29 points they are six points ahead of bengaluru fc in the hero isl table and it is all down to play for in the remaining fixtures to find out who will be in the playoffs well with this we can say that hyderabad fc have mostly qualified they were already the most likely team to qualify and yes they have and it was a very crucial win however for bengaluru fc they are still in with a chance they are in 23 points they still have i think five or six games left it is something of a very you know unpredictable situation for any anyone whoever is following the isl i am not sure which way they would be putting their money on but i just feel that bengaluru fc over the balance of play over the course of the season have done a wonderful job with the kind of squad depth that they have so guys please let me know what are your thoughts do you still think that bengaluru fc can make, make up to the playoffs do you think that hyderabad fc will go all the way till the finals and clinch their maiden title it's all to play for and for regular updates from the world of football please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so until next time stay safe and take care